go. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Coming at you today with a video on the eight end. This is the uh, loader one. And if you're reading the title, then I'm sure you'll know what this video is about. I uh, will put everything in the description to all the parts. I had to replace this pump. The original one exploded. It was just very old and it was on this tractor for quite some time. And I kept having alignment issues. And I should have videotaped me putting this on for you guys for a how-to because there's no how-to videos or people putting them on these front end loaders on eight ends or nine ends or two ends or whatever tractor you got but this is the dearborn loader this is an ebay pump that i got for 250 bucks and this is a three-quarter bore u-joint and i'll show you like i said everything will be in the, the uh, description of all the parts that i ordered this was 35 bucks plus 15 to ship it off ebay and it's keyed and it has allen's Allen keys to hold it in place and then um, this plate was already on the tractor from the original one and then it has two bolts that I had to uh, I realign these bolts up I cut holes with the torch but they're slotted so you can make adjustments and I posted in a forum on Facebook there's a uh, group on Facebook like Ford at uh, 8 and 9 and 2 and just and tractors in general and people that I kept shearing there's this little if you guys have one you'll know what I'm talking about there's two couplers actually I have them over here hold on a second there's these couplers these are what they sell at tractor supply and they go together with a rubber in the middle and if you don't have that thing exactly lined up your pump to your shaft then it shears it just tears that um, rubber piece up. Um, here's the rubber piece. I tried to order this one because I thought this would be a hard plastic, but it wasn't, it was rubber too, just like this one. And I had it as lined up as I could. I mean, it was might've been off just a hair and it kept ripping these and then it would tear these gears right off. So I got sick of replacing, like I wouldn't even get an hour out of one of these. And I'm telling you, it was lined up. So I found that U-joint and I went that way. And the specs say, I'll show you where I ordered it. The guy sent me this catalog. And this has hydraulic pumps, controls. It has everything. This is a great uh, catalog to have because it literally has everything. Hydraulic pumps has electric motors. Here's the hydraulic cylinders So here's that And I really wanted to show this off and um, I will do an update video All right guys, I'm back um, I will run this for quite some time and let you know on the longevity of it but there's no vibration in it like I had. I had a lot of vibration with the other one. Um, this is a stronger pump than the old one that had the four bolts and it did have rubber so that did probably take out the vibration. But I couldn't find that old pump. This is the only one they had on eBay. It's the only one I could find. And it's four Ford tractors it says it. And it is only 14 gallons per minute. So, it, But it is way stronger. I mean it lifts this loader like nothing. And then don't mind this, this is just what I had. I didn't feel like going to the parts store and getting a long tube, but I will. I just wanted to get it back together and you know, this is what old farmers would do. Just have what, you know, use what you had laying around. But I think this is way stronger than what I had showed you guys and those couplers that they use. And then another thing people use are those double roller chains, which I haven't tried that idea, but if this don't work maybe i'll try that but i'm almost certain this is gonna outlast any of those things i mean 
you know, cars, trucks, everything you know, has a U joint and gets hundreds and thousands of miles. And I'm not going to be running this tractor every day, all day, but I do use it. This isn't a pristine tractor that I'm trying to keep, you know, nice in the garage fixed up. I am going to use it, but I do maintain it very well. You know, I change the fluids and everything. I take care of it, but I do use it. But I will give you guys a walk around of it. I will uh, start it up here in a second and show the U-joint working. Everything is lined up nice. Like I said, there's no vibration. The specs on that U-joint only say a thousand RPMs. Um, I don't think you would need more than that. I really don't need more than that. But I have had it up a little bit past a thousand RPMs and it seems to be fine. But uh, let me fire it up for you guys and show it off. I don't know how well on video it's just gonna pick it up, but it is smooth. check these guys out all right i'm gonna shut it off now just so i could talk to you guys a little bit more and you do gotta um keep an eye on your bolts keep tightening them use loctite because uh, they will get loosened up when you first run it i've tightened them up this the second time and uh, i'm gonna run it a little bit now and tighten them up again just so these don't slide back these bolts are hardened bolts with washers underneath and they actually I tightened the crap out of them where they actually went like started biting down into the steel so but this is it guys I really I'm gonna try this out and I hope this helps somebody that's having issues or wanted to know there's no YouTube videos on these front end loaders like none on how to mount these pumps on the front so I wanted to show you guys um, and if you have any questions, I'll get right back to you. I get notified on my phone and my YouTube channel. I get back to everybody. And if you have any questions about anything or, like I said, anything at all, I'll get back to you and answer them the best I can. Here's all the controls. Like I said, this is a Dearborn. Uh, the badge is right here. I painted over it because I really didn't care. Like I said, I just, I'm going to use it. It's a 19-71 as the model number. And this is a 53-8N. Everything will be down in the description, so look down there. Uh, hit that like button and please subscribe. I'm always doing how-to videos like this. There's my other 8N. I got a 49 over there. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Any questions, drop them below and I'll answer them. Have a good one.